uh, IRA exit strategy. So why is this important? Welcome to Barry's Bites. Please join our host, attorney and financial advisor, Chris Barry. The first thing is that we have this Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. And the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act runs from 2018 to 2025. So it expires in 2026. And what it does is once we reach 2026, your taxes are going up. So your taxes across the board are going up three to 5%, depending on which tax bracket you're in. Given this, also we're in debt. So we're $31 trillion in debt. So that's kind of concerning. And then also we've had the SECURE Act. So the SECURE Act passed originally in 2019, right before the end of the year, right before the pandemic. And then also we have SECURE Act 2.0, which recently passed. And the big thing is that with this, the IRS is coming after pre-tax accounts like 401ks, IRAs, because when they passed this, there was $22 trillion sitting in debt and Inside of your 401ks and IRAs, there was $26 trillion. So the SECURE Act is a direct attack on your IRAs and 401ks, but they know they can't come after your 401ks and IRAs. They're coming after your kids once they inherit it. So what the SECURE Act said is now they can come after these inherited IRAs. So when you pass away with pre-tax dollars, now the kids have to pay all the taxes must be paid within 10 years. Prior to the SECURE Act, they could stretch out the taxes over their lifetime because what they saw was we're $22 trillion in debt. And so they wanted to come after the $26 trillion sitting in these pre-tax accounts, but they knew they couldn't come after yours. So they're going to come after your kids once you pass away. But now we're not $22 trillion in debt. Following the pandemic, we're now $31 trillion in debt. And so you couple all these things together. The concern is, what is the government going to do? Well, we know taxes are scheduled to go up, but they could go up much higher. So given all this, what do we do? Well, let's look at what accounts we have in our pre-tax bucket. This is money that's never been taxed. We call this like always tax bucket. So this is your traditional 401ks, 403bs, pre-tax IRAs. So the idea is having some type of IRA exit strategy because if taxes go up, understand when you take money out, you have to pay tax on these. These are always taxed. The value of these accounts go down if taxes go up. So if taxes go up 10%, you've just lost 10% of your IRA. If taxes go up 3%, you've lost 3% of your IRA. So with that, if we know taxes are going up, what's important is to have some type of IRA exit strategy. Maybe in an intelligent manner, I should be pulling money out of these accounts and putting them somewhere else. Now, the key to do this is you have to pay the tax, but I'd rather pay the tax now at a 22 or 24% tax than a 25 or 28% tax in the future. And there's different things we can do. So we can have this money go to like a trust, like an asset protection trust. So now it's asset protected inside of a trust and it's post-tax and now it can be left to the kids tax-free. We go to things like Roth conversions, so money that can now grow tax-free. And so really it's a two-step process with regards to having an IRA exit strategy. And so the first step is figuring out how much to move. And that's really all we do is we look at your tax return and investment statements, look to see how much you have in these pre-tax accounts. That part's pretty easy. So the question is how much? And then second is where does it go? So you pay the tax and then where do you invest it? And that's more of a nuanced question. And it just depends on what your goals are, what your strategies, what's your overall plan. But the big thing, and I, I can't stress this enough, is that you should have some type of IRA exit strategy. I think taxes are one of the biggest risks out there and biggest opportunities based on all the things that I just mentioned. The big thing being, we know taxes are going up with the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. So I would rather pay taxes right now at one of the lowest historical marginal tax rates ever in history, rather than wait for them to go up in 2026, or if not sooner, and if not much higher than what they're scheduled.